Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today is quick tutorial about a preset called the Mixed Mesh Normals in Proximity. Sometimes you might not want to dive into complex hard surface modeling, such as making a cup handle. So instead, we use a cheating method to mix mesh normals. This technique used to require a vertex group and multiple modifiers. We need to add a data transfer modifier, select the source object, enable the face corner data, choose the custom normal for transfer. We then need to restrict the range or the effectiveness based on proximity using the vertex weight proximity, select the vertex group, target object, choose to use geometry proximity, reverse the fall, and the tweak distance. These all procedures are not just complicated, but also difficult to be made into a single asset. Now, starting in Blender 4.5, you can achieve it with a single geometry node modifier, saving time and the clicks. The usage is very simple. If you have my extension or assets installed, um, which are free from the link in the description, just search for this mix mesh normals in proximity modifier in the modifier panel. Once added, select the object whose normals you want to mix. It might work right away with the default settings. If not, try to check with different parameters by yourself, such as the domain and the distance to change the effective range. We have different domain options such as face corner, face, and the points. In this cupcake example, it seems that the point domain is better than my default face corner domain. Nevertheless, if you switch to another example, you will find the face corner works better than point. Sometimes these results may also be different depending on if you enabled shade smooth or not. Another note is about normal method used. By default, it uses the three normal methods, which is fast. However, this custom normal does not respond to future deformations. And more importantly, as of time of this recording, it doesn't work in cycles. In this example, my small cube is displaced, but referencing the normal from the outer cube shown as this bounding box. So even though it's deformed, it should appear as a flat face. If I disable my preset, the original normals are reviewed, and you will see this jacked shading across the polygons. Now, when I switch to render the view and change the render from EV to cycles, you can see these jagged lines appear in cycles, but not in EV. At the moment, the solution is simply to switch from the free normal method to the tangent space method. That's basically all you need to know about this preset. I recommend playing around with it to get a feel for how it works by itself. The concept behind this preset is pretty straightforward. It became possible in Blender 4.5 because of the new ability to set mesh normal. From there, it's just a matter of mixing objects unnormal with the normal sample from the nearest surface of your target object. Whether you like to use my presets or not, you probably want to build a preset for yourself for these purposes. That wraps up my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably see you next time. Bye-bye.